analysis. How you doing guys and welcome to another episode of Analysis. On Saturday the 27th we had Catterall, Jack Catterall versus Regis Progre and it was, a, it was actually a really good fight. It started off kind of slow, both fighters feeling each other out and then around the fifth round Catterall, he got dropped by a straight left from Progre and I, I would say up until then Progre was ahead on points and then that just gave him a clear round in that fifth round. After that, Catterall come back into the fight and that's when the fight started to heat up. Progre was on the hunt for the knockdown, but Catterall, he was putting some really good defensive work and catching Progre, Progre with some combinations. Um, Progre relied too much on the power shots and straight power shots. I think both fighters kind of neglected their jab, but Catterall still kept his composure while Progre, he started to throw wild shots that were putting him off balance. Now, in the ninth round, Progre, he was down twice. Catterall caught him, put him down twice, and that's, that was a clear change in direction of this fight. And then you had Progre trying his best to try and knock Catterall out, but Catterall was too good defensively and too accurate with his punches on his counters and he got the decision in a 12 round fight. Two judges scored at 116 to 109 and one judge scored at 117 to 108 in Catterall's favour. Now after that fight, both Eddie Hearn and Jack Catterall said they want a world title fight and they deserve a world, you know, a world title shot and they called out Teofimo Lopez. Well, I'm not sure if that fight will happen, but we can only wait and see because there's a lot of politics involved, but we'll wait and see what happens. As it stands now, Regis Progre, he's had 29 victories, 24 of them have been by KO. He's lost three times now, and that's to Haney, Josh Taylor, and to Catterall. And after that fight, he was really good in defeat, good sportsman, and he said it's time for the young Lions to take over. And he wished Jack Catterall all the best in his, you know going forward. You know, great sportsmanship, and you know he's now going to retire. Jack Catterall, he's had 31 fights, he's had one defeat, and that was against Josh Taylor, but he avenged that in the rematch. And to be fair, a lot of people thought that Catterall won the first fight against Josh Taylor. So now he's seeking a world title. He wants all the big fights and he wants a world title shot, which to be fair, he is deserving of that. He's done really well. I think in 11 months, He's four, he's had four victories and he's come through them all. So well done to Catterall. But anyway guys, that's me catching up with the fight over the weekend and I wasn't disappointed. Peace, I'm out of here. Hey guys, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.